You're watching the ClickSense SAML and Microsoft Active Directory Federation Services video series. Before we begin, there are a couple of items I want to go over. Firstly, the installation of ADFS is for demonstrating ClickSense 2.x SAML authentication with Active Directory Federation Services. It is not the only way to install ADFS, it is not the only way to configure ADFS, and it is not necessary to install or configure ADFS in the manner shown to work with ClickSense. This video is not a substitute for any official documentation pertaining to installing Active Directory Federation services. ClickSense SAML authentication works with a variety of different SAML identity providers, including Salesforce.com, Microsoft Azure, Okta, OneLogin, as well as a number of other custom identity provider solutions. Taking a look at some notes regarding ClickSense SAML, ClickSense SAML supports SHA-256 certificates from IDPs from version 2.0.6 and above and 2.2.x and above of ClickSense Enterprise. Prior to these versions, only SHA-1 certificates are accepted. ClickSense SAML uses SP-initiated flow only. IDP-initiated flow is currently not supported. And the ClickSense SAML SP signing certificate may be SHA-1 or SHA-256 as of version 2.2.x. You actually have the ability to set this inside of the SAML configuration. By default, the ClickSense self-signed certificates are SHA-1 certificates. Some assumptions for this video series, we're using Windows 2012 R2. We're using Active Directory and ADFS existing on the same server. We're using ClickSense 2.2, a self-signed certificate for the ADFS server is used for ADFS for demonstration purposes only. You may have a trusted certificate, that's okay. And ClickSense is using a self-signed certificate for demonstration purposes only. And if you have a trusted certificate for ClickSense, that is okay too. Now let's get started. When I install ADFS, I'm going to need an SSL certificate so that I can use it with uh, my configuration of Active Directory Federation services. So I'm gonna start uh, by exporting a certificate from the ClickSense server just because it's an easy way to generate a self-signed cert. You may already have a certificate for Active Directory Federation services and I recommend if you do to use that. For this demonstration I'm going to go ahead and go into the QMC and click on the certificates uh, option that's at the bottom of the menu. And then inside of the export, I'm going to click on Add Machine Name, and I'm going to type in the name of my Active Directory server. And then I'm going to enter in a password for the certificate and retype it, and then check the Include Secret key box. And I'm going to choose make sure that Windows Format's still uh, selected. Export those certificates. And once the certificates are exported, they're stored in a location on the ClickSense server. And I'm just going to grab this folder. If I open it up for a moment, you can see that there's uh, the server certificate plus the root and the client. The server certificate's the one we care about most. But I'm going to grab that whole folder and I'm going to bring it over to the Active Directory server. I'm going to get started by installing Active Directory Federation services on my Active Directory server. I'll go up to Manage and then Add Roles and Features. And I'll click Next and then Next again for the installation type and then for the server selection as well. And when I get to Server Roles, I want to choose Active Directory Federation services. I'll click Next after that. And I don't have to add any additional features, so I'll click Next again. And then click Next to get to the confirmation screen. Once I'm at the confirmation screen, I'll choose Install. When the install completes, I'll click on the Configure the Federation Service on this server link that's in the middle of the dialog box. That'll bring up the wizard for Active Directory Federation Services configuration. And I'll click Next at the Welcome screen. And I'm going to create the first Federation server in a server farm. This is just our test, so you may have others. Uh, for connecting to the Active Directory Directory service, I'm going to use the administrator account. 
and then specifying the service properties, I need to provide a certificate. So I've downloaded a certificate from the ClickSense server that I generated with the uh, Active Directory server's name, just using a self-signed cert here. This could be a certificate that you already have in your Active Directory server. For the Federation service display name, I'm just going to type in ClickSense SAML ADFS and click Next. And then I'm going to specify the service account. I'm going to use the administrator account. Your installation may have a different user ID that you use for the service account for Active Directory Federation services. Once I've entered the password, I'll click Next again. And specifying the database, I'm going to create a database using the Windows internal database. Uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. And when we click Next here, you'll see that I get an error. That's because I've installed ADFS a couple of times on the system and then uninstalled it. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite and click Next. And then click Next again. I pass the prerequisite checks, so I'll click the Configure button. And now ADFS will go ahead and install or configure. Might get an error at the end. Uh, we can ignore this for the purposes of our demonstration. Uh, basically, it's asking to set an SPN for the service account manually. Once that's done, we'll click Close. In the next video, we'll go through the ClickSense virtual proxy configuration for SAML with ADFS.